I'm pretending you didn't hear that. Well, I'm delighted and a little disturbed to introduce the first celebrity undertaker in the history of the programme, a footballing Goliath and former Kerry Man of the Year. Please welcome, always the undertaker, never the dead guy. It's the Hugh Hefner of the GAA world, Mr. Mick O'Dwyer. Yeah. Ah, where oh, is he? Oh, there he is. Ah, there he is. Welcome. There he is. Welcome. There he is. How are you? How are you doing? Mick well, O'Dwyer, how are you? You're looking well. Ah, good we're night. grand, we're grand. It's good to see you. Yeah, you're two busy little men, aren't you? Oh, we are, we are indeed, indeed, we are indeed. How's your cut and Mick? Pretty good, yes. Good, good, Pretty good. good, yes. That's good. good. Now, good. listen, what's it like being called a legend and you're not even dead? <laughs> <laughs> but should I call everybody legends today, don't they? Ah, they, they do. do a bit Dead now. or alive, they're they all do, legends. They do, that. do you know what we'll do? What? Will we remind them what all the fuss was about? Will oh, we? God, we shall. We shall. Let's have a look back. Back in history to 1965. 65. Hmm. Sideline kick taken by Donny Sullivan. Donny Sullivan right over to the far side. The people. Pat Griffin gets the ball. Pat Griffin now for Kerry, 50 yards out. A high dropping ball into Smith O'Dwyer. Smith O'Dwyer has in the 14 yards line. He kicks it over his head and he kicks it over the bar. It's very nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? 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 There was no God Save the Queen singing that day, huh? <laughs> and that's for sure. That's ah. for sure. Yeah. Right, let's do a rundown of, the, of your running around the pitch career. Right. Wait till you hear this. Four All-Ireland Senior Medals and seven National League Medals. Yeah. Eight, As you're wrong. Eight? What? Yes, eight. You got another one! I got Even another better. one. I should, Even better! Even better! Right. As manager, you won eight All-Ireland titles for Kerry. Am I right? That's correct. You took Kildare to the All-Ireland Final. And Leash to win the Leinster final in 2003. 59 national finals in all. And at 70, at 70, folks, you've just taken on uh, the Wicklow team. Uh, that's something I can tell you now. That's uh, going to be some job to get those fellas up. Oh, uh, come here. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 he's right. He's right. It. No, he's right. No, what is the It is a job. Jesus. Even to get them off, the sheep is going is, 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 is to be a problem. It is, it is. Well, Jeez. no doubt there's plenty of oh, sheep down there, oh, I can yeah, assure you. Come here. But I can tell you there are some footballers there as well. Do you oh, think so? Sure. Are they? think so? Are they? I have no doubt about it. Because uh, I thought maybe it was a spelling mistake, you know, when the job's, the job's available. You know, they may be a magician instead of manager is what they needed. <laughs> How's that working out for you? Um, is it going well? Are they good, are they? Oh, yeah, they're pretty good. It's working out pretty well. They're getting great cooperation with the people down there anyway. Oh, well. And the county, there's a great buzz around the county, yeah. which is great. Oh, well, Mick O'Dwyer's down there, you see. Yeah. The great Mico's there. You want to watch them? They rub the eye out of your Oh, head. they would, <laughs> seriously. You want to watch, watch your pockets? I know, watch your pockets. pockets. No, we'd want to. But is it harder now to get the young lads into the sport these, these days? What, you know, with their computer games yeah. and condoms right. and SSIEs <laughs> and... Souped up Fiat Puntos and the like. How do you get them interested in the, in the gay, in the guy at all, you know? Well, uh, in my part of the country, you know, where I come from, I, we don't have any problem to get them to play Gaelic football yeah. down there. I come yeah. from South Kerry, of where course. there are nine Gaelic football teams, no soccer teams, no rugby teams, right. nothing whatsoever to be played. There are only Gaelic football. So we continue to play Gaelic football, and that's why Kerry is so successful. That's right. But I suppose in urbanised areas like Wicklow and... Yeah. Dublin and those, it's pretty hard to get them out. But all the young fellas that right. I have in Wicklow are only too delighted to get out and train and walk out of the game. Well, in fairness now, in, yeah. in, in Kerry, when they get electricity, it'll be a different story. <laughs> <laughs> be a different story altogether. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, come here. Right, on to the serious stuff now, now. We're just having a chat here, now, but it's got to get serious. Croke Park. Rugby wankers and football and hairdos and, and Bobby Feckin Williams. When you see Mick O'Neill, the thing is, up until Saturday, I didn't think it was right. I mean, Peter O'Toole and Michael Collins didn't die in the GPO in 1916 for nothing. <laughs> but I have to say, after seeing the baiting our lads dished out on them English lads, I may have changed my mind. <laughs> huh? Are you with me? Oh, it was wonderful. <laughs> I think we... Oh, it was a great game. Did you enjoy the game? Did you watch it? I certainly did, and I think we got our own back in, in the English last Saturday. I think oh. it was a great victory for Ireland. They played marvellous uh, rugby the last day, which was well, great. That was a great old game now, in fairness. And a great now, must day, admit. great atmosphere. Everything was great. Uh, well, it was, it was, it was great, indeed, great, it was. great. Now, Mick, what do you reckon was the most embarrassing moment of your career? The most embarrassing mm. moment of my mm. career? Mm. And yes, I've had plenty of them. I'm going to show you. Yeah. What about something... I'll give you a clue. Look under that Look thing under there. That bowl there. That the bowl, bowl there. Pick it up more than that. Oh, Jesus. There you are. What is it? Is, is it a mouse trap or what? No. 
Do you oh, not remember oh, this? Oh, did you hear the false teeth jumping out of my mouth? That's correct. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's show, have a show look. us the picture. Go on. There oh, they are. Oh. Jesus. Oh. Everybody's, everybody's second worst anxiety dream after running down O'Connell Street in the nude. <laughs> All Bel your teeth fell out. Believe it or believe it not, what? I caught the teeth before they hit the ground. How many you know? you want? Of course. Good man, of course. To your Mick O'Dwyer. You'd have to. <laughs> I'd be disappointed if you didn't catch them. <laughs> Good. Right, Mick. Do you remember ah. the Kerry Man joke? <laughs> Plenty of them around anyway, can I do it? Ah, no, listen, Mick, now, it was a shocking time shocking for our friends time. like well, yourself. You know, it's very hard to cut Kerry people, you know. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, no, look, you know. it was a terrible time for our friends in the kingdom, you know. It lasted at least a decade, Good people thing. telling jokes about Kerry. And Kerry's. we're sad to report, Mick, that there has been a resurgence <sighs> of the Kerry Man joke. You mightn't know this. No, no you no. see, so we thought, since you're here, and you're the most famous Kerry Man alive, why not, well... Why not prove that Kerry men are as smart as the next man? Yeah. Right here on telly. Right. So we've come up with some general knowledge questions to put an end to the myth of the thick Kerry man. <laughs> there's no laugh, there's no point in Ah, no, this is no, serious, serious, folks. Now, folks. Serious. We're putting an end to it before, this is, this it, is it, now. before it kicks <laughs> off again. Are you on for it now, Mick? Right, I'm ready, fine. Right, general knowledge think. questions now. Yeah. Now, you've got to have your wits about you for these. <clears throat> All right. First general knowledge question. All right. <laughs> How would you recognise a bath made in Kerry? A bath made in Kerry. Yeah, yeah. We don't make them there. <laughs> so there's no point in asking. We just don't make them there. <laughs> oh, we've a tough one here. <laughs> How would you recognise a bath made in Kerry? I told there's you, we, we just don't make them there, I told you. Is that enough? And the answer is, well, if you can't answer it, just say so. <laughs> there's taps at both ends to keep the water level. <laughs> right. What did the Kerry man born with two left feet do? What did he do? Yep. I presume he played football. Oh. If he's a Kerry man. <laughs> no, he went out to buy a pair of flip flips. <laughs> 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 okay, now seriously, no, no, this uh, is a good one now. Why do Kerry dogs have flat faces? <laughs> I think he knows this one. I knows it. Come on, you know it. Why do Kerry dogs have flat faces? Yeah. You know, I never look closely at the dogs in Kerry, to be honest. Oh, well, is he cute or isn't he? He is <laughs> cute, isn't he? He's not going to answer it. making me sweat You're not swallowing the bait at all now. <laughs> From running after park cars, of course. Right. What do you call... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he hasn't got any oh, right got so any far. Right Two Santa Clauses working in a supermarket. Which one's the Kerry man? <laughs> the one with the bag full of Easter eggs. Of course he is. <laughs> oh dear God. Are the collecting the money maybe more than the, than the Easter eggs? <laughs> Uh, 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 we're only having a little uh, laugh yeah. at you now, Miko. Good man, you said. Fair to you, Miko. <laughs> you gave it a valent, a valent a try. No, he didn't. He didn't do well, thick and anything. But you have to say that. He's a cute whore, though. You see the way whore. he avoided everything? Yeah, yeah. Jesus, can you imagine him training you? Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> Oh, he's a oh, tough man. He's a tough yeah, man, all right. Yeah, well, look, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you. Mighty Mick O'Dwyer, everyone. Thanks, Mick. Thank you. Good man, you're a legend in our kitchen. He didn't like to get in our kitchen. I know, it's great, isn't it? Oh. It's, it's, it's a, 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 a great day. Great day. Lucy, what's next? OK, what's next is the latest couple...